did you miss out on or did you skip having an important but uncomfortable conversation? Every time that you think of having this conversation, do you struggle with the fear of flaring up the tension or, you know, the fear of what I may end up saying? Well, hi, I'm Asta Tatia, your happiness coach. And I want to say that all you leaders out there, you have got to go and have these conversations. No matter what they are about, you've got to go and have these conversations, right? Because do you realize that it's not just you who's struggling with the discomfort, but the person, the person who we're talking about is equally uncomfortable. He may be dealing with his own fears. He may not even have a clue or an access on how to really go about um, dealing with this. So it's important because there are impacts and you know there are long lasting impacts also. And the more you just let it be, the more you push it aside, it just piles on. Okay, so what you can really do how can you really go about having these crucial conversations? So the very first thing, you know, is to set a context for yourself. It's very, very important to have a context very, very clear. What is the context for you? Why do you really want to have the conversation? Okay, so very, very clear this relationship is important for me or as a team, you know, we want to have that bonding, that camaraderie and it is of immense value to me. I want to have an amazing environment here. I don't want to lose out on the, um, the friendship with my partner or with my colleague. So you got to have that context very clear. My peace of mind is very, very important for me, you know, and I want the other person to be happy, at ease, whatever it is for you. Have that context very clear. Okay. The second thing, table your feelings. Okay. And as you table your feelings, also share the context that you've set with the other person. So you can let him or her know that I want to have this conversation with you. Okay, because I really value our bonding. Okay, I really value this relationship. And I want to have an amazing camaraderie, want to work together with you, enjoy doing it. But I'm feeling a little nervous, or I am a little uneasy, or I'm experiencing feeling this discomfort. And I'm uh, reeling under this fear because I don't want to say something that triggers you. I'm not sure if you'll feel good about it. I'm not sure if you're going to arrive at a solution. Whatever that fear is, whatever way you want to express, go ahead and put it down on the table. Number three, once you've shared your feelings, once you've shared the context that you've created, be responsible. Don't get into the blame game, okay? You did not listen. You didn't do it, okay? You didn't share this with me, whatever. So don't get into that. Take ownership, and that's where your context is going to help you stay on track. Because remember, you are there because you value that relationship or because you want an amazing camaraderie, bonding, or you want an amazing atmosphere, you want your peace of mind, remember the context, okay? So no blaming. And number four, number four, you may not arrive at a solution instantly. You may need to have maybe two more rounds, three more rounds of conversation. You do not know. But it's important to be in communication, okay? So just focus on that, that am I in communication, okay? Uh, what is the end result? Is there an end result? Or do we decide at the end of it that, okay, next we're going to talk again or we're going to connect again over the same topic, same issue, same challenge, same pain, maybe two days later or whatever is mutually agreed upon. 
so just be okay with not really reaching somewhere okay uh, it's important that you've initiated it's important that you start the journey right so go ahead and do this it's a skill that you've got to acquire learn the skill and trust me the people are going to thank you they are really going to thank you because it's going to take your relationships with the people in your life to the next level and as a leader it is so important it's so important to have those conversations okay that's also taking or rather teaching people you know to behave in a certain manner to be able to have their conversations you're actually creating an environment where okay you saying you you actually setting an example you're saying okay no matter what it is go ahead and have those conversations right so very very quickly number 1 you can start by setting a context for yourself take time set the context why do you want to have that conversation second table the feelings when you meet the other person you sit you both sit and you have that conversation if there's some nervousness if there's a fear if there's some anger just put it down just share it and also share the context with the other person number 3 do not blame okay take ownership be responsible and approach it from there and number 4 be in communication that's what's most important don't be obsessed about reaching somewhere what's going to be the solution will i reach a solution or not or oh, we're not heading anywhere no it's important to really get into communication so go ahead do that and trust me it's going to be next level Take care.